Assalamu alaikum beautiful people we are back with another video and in this video we will go with the WTF moments of FC Mobile and we will surely say what is this FC Mobile and the biggest one of these things is 102 overall player of the month exchange and this is complete a madness and we will talk about all the mad mad things about FC Mobile which will make this game rest in peace in the future and we will also I share our thoughts about all the events and the gameplays and uh, I will share my suggestions as well and I will also ask you to share your thoughts about the game in the comment section so I can forward them to the developers. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the future updates. So let's start it with this exchange. This is the baddest decision by FC Mobile by giving this scam exchange. Like if you want me to rate this exchange, I will say it's a 0 out of 10, minus out of 10. No can uh, afford this exchange, even developers can do this exchange. And talking about developers, if you see RK Ready, he was also struggling to do this exchange. Not because of the players, but see the requirements. There are 98 and a 95 over your team of the week players as well. So if you will have the players, you will not have team of the week players. And some of us have team of the week players, but they don't have the other players. <laughs> so uh, requirements are really a lot. I hope they change it in the future. But for now, this is the worst possible exchange in the entire FC Mobile or FIFA Mobile history. For a 1 or 2 OVR player, we have to use two 101 OVR players. Even if we use two 101 OVR players, you have to use, uh, there are 800 plus OVR players. Are you kidding me? Like from the events, you guys giving us free 100 OVR card for every event. And uh, you are expecting us to use all of those cards in the single exchange. What is this behavior? And also we have to use 1098 OVR players. And uh, after that, these are the requirements for the team of the week and... Uh, <clears throat> I will not suggest you to do this exchange. If they will co continue to do this, uh, people will lose their interest and eventually they will leave the game. Because there was so much hype after seeing one or two 101 OVR plays, we thought like finally FC Mobile is giving us good rewards and they are back to the path to the glory. But after seeing the requirements, FC Mobile, Scam Mobile is back. And not only this, 101 requirement is also high and 100 OVR requirement is also high. But as compared to the other requirements, uh, this requirement is still less. We have to use 299, uh, 598, 597, 196 and 195 team of the week players. Talking about performance, uh, I use Yamal card and performance wise he's really good. Because if you will do this exchange, you will know he's a good card. But exchange requirements are a lot. I hope they change it in the future because this is the perfect scam. The scam number two right now in the game is these extra time tokens. This, I I don't want to move the bad words, words to be honest in this video. Like what they were thinking? Using tons of 99, 98, 97 and 96 OVR plays in the exchange for the extra time tokens. And when you do the exchange, what you will get? Uh, 96, I was about to say the F word. Uh, sorry, a 96 or a 97 over here player, like why, why you are even doing this with us, don't give this exchange, the only exchange which is good is this 100 to 103 but it's untradeable, you should give these exchange with a tradable requirement, then we all will be really happy to do this exchange, I will have no regrets wasting my 99 OVR players, because in order to do this exchange, uh, I think minimum I have to use 696, uh, 699 and also uh, 5 to 693 OVR plays to get 30,000 market pick tokens. Then what you will get an untradeable card but if they will give me a tradable card I will be happy because if I will pack a 1 or 3 at least I will get 1 billion points. Make the requirements which, uh, which community likes. Don't make the requirements in which you get the benefit. There is a difference, but FC Mobile always <laughs> get their profit, but they don't want the community in to enjoy these events. So we talked about two scams. The third thing, thing which is uh, really bad in the FC Mobile is event slow. Like they are giving us good events. Like if you see the player banner, card art, event flow, event mode, they are really great. But 
they are the all the events are following the same thing which is uh the rewards like in every event there will be four weeks in every four weeks there will be one separate milestone and and that milestone we can claim it in the one day so in the first week one milestone second week one milestone third week third milestone and fourth week fourth milestone and for the 28 uh, days four days with the milestone and what we will do the other 24 days there is nothing to do in the events and uh, libretto dose and trick or treat events are proper properly same with the reward and at the end what you will get a bigger reward a bigger milestone which is uh, 99 to 103 uh, previously it was 99 to 101 at least they upgraded it to 103 but I idea is same like they will not going to improve the events if you Remember FIFA mobile events, we had to play all the events, we had to engage uh, and then at the end, after playing it for I think 20 days, 30 days, 40 days, even World Cup event, we had to play for I think more than 70 days. And imagine the rewards of the World Cup event with these rewards, like they are not even close and even though we are getting untradeable rewards, which are doing nothing to us and we are getting the same 97 to the lowest OVR plays again and again. So event should, events should be improved in the future, uh, which will lead this game to the glory. Okay, so the first, fourth, sorry, bad thing about this game is this Icon Chronicle. Like why? I don't know why. First, when they came, they had 96, 97 and 98 OVR. Uh, we all suggested them to increase the OVR give them good stats so even at least we can use them in the squad like imagine making a really good event with the beautiful card arts and beautiful event flow you can see the icons matches and doing so much hard work and what you are giving a 98 OVR check card for free which we don't even use right now there are one or two one or three OVR goalkeepers as well so who will use this 98 goalkeeper card like you are wasting your efforts Compare this event, <coughs> sorry, compare this event with uh, Icon Chronicles events of FIFA Mobile, Beckham event, uh, Gullet event, Hazard event. Compare them with this one and tell me either those cards were good or these were good. Like in Gullet cards, that was all season cards. If you claim that card, you could have used him throughout the season. And now tell me if you claim this 98 check card, can you use him till the end of the season? There is a big no. You will uh, definitely use him in the exchange, probably in the player of the month or any event exchange. And then story ended. And now they, they gave us more icons which are still useless. And four more icons will be available. Probably there is Kaka. And uh, one is from Inter Miami, one is PSG, probably Matuidi, and one is from England, which we don't know, but soon we will know. But everyone is a scam here. So this was our fourth scam. Now, let's talk about the next and the biggest scam of all, which is exchanges. Like, they are not even improving the exchanges. In the start, from the, uh, I think, uh, team of the year event, we had these exchanges or from the team of the season. I think team of the season was the first event in which we got 94 to 98 OVR exchange. At that time, exchanges were good because highest rewards from the events were 94 and 95. We were extremely lucky that we are getting 97, 98 cards for free and 99 as well from the exchange. But now it's... Uh, this trick or treat event when the OVR is 103 but the requirements uh, but the rewards are still 95. Like why at least give a 97 to 103 so we can enjoy what we will do with the 94 and 95. So this is another scam and talking about packs alongside that. This season one pack which is really great and I think I should appreciate FC Mobile for that is this 3000 pack. This 3000 pack and the other 4,000 packs because this is the only reason or that this is the only way I have small interest in the game. I am happy to collect the gems and open these packs. Otherwise, I would, would I would have never done any pack opening with the gems. In the previous seasons, I used to save my gems. I used to save 100k, 200k gems from the events without spending them on the packs and at the good event, I used to spend those gems, but because of these packs, because of these good packs, I often open them and I get the good reward. So this is the best positive thing and I think we should appreciate on some things as well. 
Okay, so now let's talk about another uh, scam of FC Mobile. It's it's not a scam. Uh, it's a hacker situation, and every game has a hacker situation. Even though they are trying to solve this problem, like as you know, in every game, even though if you play e football, uh, free fire, PUBG, they have the hacker situation, and you can't control the situation, but you can make the effort. And definitely, they are making the effort. You don't know what they are doing on the backhand. Like they can't tell us, but as you know, we are the content creators. We have the contact with the developers, and they surely tell us like you have to keep the faith. Uh, in the near future, we can control this situation. It will take a time, not one month or two months probably. It can take six months, one uh, one year or two year as well. But they said we are trying everything to stop uh, this situation, and you will see the results in the future. So. Sometimes you have to just trust the process and you have to keep the faith. And to be honest, I have the faith if you talk about a gameplay or if about a hacker situation, uh, because I know they are doing everything, especially Timo. That guy is great and he is doing everything for the head to head, especially. Uh, and he made this gameplay really amazing. Uh, if you remember FIFA Mobile gameplays, we, we got a lot of glitches, bugs. That uh, black screen thing, even though there was a cross spamming, also uh, what you say, kickoff glitch. There was a lot of things which got controlled and now a new gameplay is uh, coming as well in the future and they will improve more things about the game. So, gameplay is really good as compared to the FIFA mobile gameplay and it will be improved in the future and this is the only positive thing about FC mobile right now which is a gameplay and the shout out goes to Timo because he is doing the great stuff uh, so we have to appreciate him for that don't troll always Jason or Antoine or Timo uh, because they are not the only one in this community you don't know how much work they do uh, as you know, like we have to give them suggestions. This is the only job we can do. You have to give the suggestions to us. We have to give the suggestions to them. Then they give the suggestions to the developers and all the people. Like it's not a simple job. Like you will say, fix this glitch and this fix glitch will be fixed. This is not going to happen. It's a long process. So now the worst part, which I think about uh, right about FC Mobile right now is football center. Like here you can see there is this Libertadores, there is Premier League, La Liga and Football Center. And to be honest, I don't even play Libertadores, Premier League and La Liga. I only played one match on the first day of this La Liga chapter. And after that, I haven't, I haven't touched it. It's because the, the rewards are so bad. Who plays this for a few hundred or not hundred million, few, let's just say 10 or 20 million. Like because we will get club tokens, we can spend them on the packs. And then we will get the rewards. I uh, I think if we should play the vegan rivals instead, the amount of uh, tokens which we will get, amount of competitive, advanced competitive points we will get, we can spend them on the store offer and we will, can get better rewards. From this football center, the only good thing about uh, football center is team of the week because you can get 99 overall players for free. AI matches are super fun. Like you, They are competitive. You can play... Uh, best team of the week match or other football center match and they are interesting in my opinion we talked about this chronicles we talked about events we talked about the vegan rivals one thing which is remaining is the market okay so market has two modes and uh, you can judge the market by two ways either it's good or either it's bad good because if you remember previous FIFA mobile market system uh, we had 999 plus player supplies for every player Remember, because we were used to get tradable rewards and after getting tradable rewards, we were blindly selling them with work causing the huge market crashes every time in the FIFA mobile. But now market is in control. Like we are getting untradable rewards. There are no tradable rewards. And uh, or whenever we, we get a tradable reward from any event or from the challenge mode, we sell them and we easily get the money. And market is also in the control mode. So... People are happy about it. But if you talk about bad things about the market is some uh, types prices of the player. For example, if this uh, Roberto Carlos, uh, which OVR is 99, he's available on the 308 million. His highest card is available in 316 million. So what is the difference between the market? Like 
uh, if you want to sell this red rank up uh, Roberto Carlos, it will be impossible for you to sell him. And the, also this purple rank as well. And if you talk about blue, same situation, green, same situation. So only those people who have base OVR cards or the max rank cards, they are happy because they can sell or buy the players. But the players which are stuck between this blue, green, purple and red thing, they are really furious. I get a lot of comments that, bro, I have this card. I can't sell him. What to do? To be honest, this thing has to be fixed in the future. I don't know how they will fix it. Or I don't even know how, how you can fix this situation because you are also stuck. I will just advise you use those cards. Don't think about selling them. Just keep them and enjoy those cards because this is the only thing which you can do. So... Uh, this was the video about FC Mobile. Uh, this was the most awaited video. I was receiving a lot of comments that make a video about FC Mobile, like what you feel about the game and what you want to suggest. So I think I gave you my honest review. Uh, and I can and I will also say that share your thoughts about the game as well. So I can share your uh, feedback to the developers. So if they will continue to make the events like this, I don't think so. Like people will enjoy the game. They will eventually leave it and they will surely move towards the next uh, or any other game. But if they will make good events, if they will give good rewards, if they will try to control all of these situations, I think people will be happy and they will uh, stay with this game like a loyal supporter uh, till the end of this game. So share your thoughts like either you like this video or not and uh, do subscribe to the channel let's aim for a thousand likes on this video and uh, we will meet you soon allah hafiz over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air the pain i felt is pain